Watch me timer start. Ding. Carrier start. Here we go. Right back into it from where we left off. And we are now supposed to head to, I think it was deck four, if I remember correctly. <laughs> I fucking walked right into that fucker. But we'll just use the amazing taser on him. And no, I won't load save because I totally walked into that shit. I totally walked into that shit. He deserved the free hit he got. Let's start using my scanner again to verify there's no problems ahead. Where the heck were we headed? To, yeah, to the elevator. Would you believe you can do a low-budget Joseph Seed cosplay? I would believe that, Ultra Nerd. I'll believe you can rock it and make it look awesome, too. Absolutely. Oh, come on, dude. When I press the run button, you run, not stand around doing nothing. The first one, I will say I made the mistake, but that one, that was just this guy just not even trying. You know, you could try not to get hit by everything. I know it's no fun, but still. There. Ding dong. So as you can see, Selma, definite thing vibes going on here. Definite thing vibes. Locked from the other side. Wait a second. Oh, right. The parti Got to go over to here for the partition, if I remember correctly. I don't suppose there's any... Hey, new hardware. Thank you. I'll take it. Yeah, I'll go ahead and save. Safety save, of course, guys. Wait. This partition... Okay, am I, am I on the wrong deck? I might be on the wrong deck. Um... Yeah, let's... Let's go down. I think maybe I need to go to another deck. Okay, deck six is still locked. Emergency evacuation elevator. Gee, I wonder when uh, I'm going to have to use that.
Alright, let's try deck five. See if deck five gets me somewhere. Ooh, I like the mu I like the music already. So I can maybe I'll get somewhere here. Is it getting funky? Uh, okay, game. Okay, game. Um, game. I distinctly recall being told that I was finished with deck three and it was time to move to another deck. Why is everything still locked off? Or do I have to use the outdoor access? Wait, maybe I have to use the outdoor access point to get into deck four. The one that, uh, the one that Captain Clubber Lang was trying to get open. Yeah, let's try that. Let's see if that's the problem. Okay, if it's not the elevators, let's go. Yeah, it must be the bit that La that Captain Lang was trying to get open. So I'm going to hand to run all the way to the end and hang a right. Bingo. This is the Spark Team, Sergeant Ingalls. Are you from the Heimdall? Hey, it's me, Bob. Bob, you're okay. Yeah, man, I'm fine. But Manning told me you were on the Spark Team. So you met Lieutenant Manning. How was she? Was she injured? Uh, she was unconscious when I found her. But she seems okay now. <laughs> That's good to hear. Bob, what happened to the ship? It's Ark. It's terminated. What is Ark? Let's talk about it all together. Where are you now? Deck 3. You got it. Bob, be careful. Yeah, you too, buddy. Bob, you're okay. Well, for a given definition of okay. Nuclear Ninja is being summoned by yard work. Boo, yard work. <laughs> Welcome back, Ultra Nerd. Glad you could rejoin us. You disconnected. Oof. That sucks. Any idea what caused you to disconnect? Mm. 
Usual bullshitters to come up with something new. Okay, bad luck. Bad luck it is then. Bad luck it is and bad luck it shall be. Bingo! Captain Lang blew this open. All right. I've heard of blowing this popsicle stand, but this is ridiculous. What the hell was that? Doctor, what was that shock? Are you okay? The power's out here. It's serious damage here, but it looks like water is coming in on deck five. There's a warning on the monitor. What happened? Yes, sir. Oh, it uh, looks like the ship is taking on water. Hey, uh, can you let me know if you figure anything out about it? Probably not serious, right? You know, a ship taking on water, probably not a big deal. If you guys can't see anything, I assure you I can't either. Well, it'd be easier to light a flare, but I guess the bomb works since I wasn't given any flares. You heard towers for other carriers were worked on nearby. And that affects yours? You know what? Just weird enough to make... Oh my god. Fucking grabbers always get the free shots, don't they? Game? No, 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 no. Don't do the target switch for cheap shot thing. Alright, let's just pistol this so I don't have to deal with these jackasses anymore. Yeah, you stay on the ground. The music from earlier got you thinking about Roivus' chapter theme. What, the Electronica on Deck 5 Ultra Nerd? Oh, hey, good, we found a light switch. Okay, so... Alright. You wouldn't be surprised if it had any effect. Oh, the power outage on your phone. There is a container with a special lock on it. It doesn't look like it can be opened. Well, I will keep in mind that this container with a special lock on it is here. And if I find no other special way to open it, we will apply bomb because bomb opens everything, right? Except the game, the stuff the game won't let you open because story. Bomb opens everything except plot armor. How about that? Yeah. Uh, let's check this door then. Uh, we have a dude. He is a not infected dude. Stay away. Who are you? Calm down. I'm with Spark. What the hell happened here? Do you know? 
I've heard that it's because of the Southern Cross spy or because of the strange container. There's a lot of talk, but no one knows what's really going on. Container? The container that was ordered on board by the military? What was in it? Uh, I don't know. It's in the hole around here somewhere. I see. Now that I think about it, there was someone hanging around here a lot lately. Do you know who it was? No, I didn't know him. I don't remember him very clearly. Oh, yeah. He was a fat guy. Thanks for the information. You mean besides you? Leave the ship to us. You head to the flight deck. Okay. I'll leave the rest to you. Here, take this. Ooh, bullets. I'll take bullets. So I gotta ask, Ultranerd, why did Electronica make you think of uh, Roivis' theme? Well, Maximilian Roivis' theme being kind of the opposite of Electronica. The Excavation of Ark. Development Department Section 3, Team Leader Daniel Connolly. April 1st. An organism resembling the theorized Ark has been discovered on island NC-0023. Yes, I'm using the accent from the guy who was just in this room because I'm assuming it was him. The Development Department, Section 3, will analyze the specimen. April 2nd, 1400. A team led by Major Thomas Ortega began the analysis. When the organism was exposed to radiation, germination commenced. A green substance was produced which entered the mouth of Major Ortega. And this is why you're not supposed to be close to weird substances. April 2nd, 1600. On the way to the infirmary, the Major suddenly became uncontrollably violent and attacked the researchers, killing two of them. I can remember it, but I remember it being a bit more orchestral than electronic, Ultranerd. He was then shot dead by an MP. All analysis of the organism was stopped. We have been ordered to immediately transport it to a special research facility. April 3rd, the Defense Council has decided to transport the organism by way of the Heimdall aircraft carrier to avoid drastic changes in the environment. So in order to so in order to transport it carefully without any changes to its environment you put it on an aircraft carrier. Were there no like specialized research ships or something? I will accompany it. Okay, I guess that wasn't the guy because he didn't know what was going on. And whoever wrote that report clearly does know what was going on. Any goodies, 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 anything worth stealing? Hmm, if only you could do real art instead of this graphite graffiti junk, then you could make money. Oh, I don't know, I think you're pretty good, Ultra Nerd. I think you're better than you think you are. Well, the wardroom was enlightening, but doesn't tell me anything more about what I really need to know. Let's see, what about here? Is there a door here? Yeah, there's the door. Got double problem children in here. Rawr, rawr, we know, rawr. Okay, I'm gonna have to actually set a bomb, so let's get rid of these guys first. Not the brightest, but at least these guys have the excuse of actually being blind. Give me bomb. Boomity device get. Boomity device place. Walk backwards. 
And staircase accessible, staircase accessible. Very nice. Isn't it amazing what a few high explosives can solve? Okay, so if I go over... What's this door first? Welcome back, Ultra Nerd. Welcome back again. Aha! Electrical substation. Now we're getting somewhere. Substation, substation on the wall. How do I turn this fucking place back on? Display will not turn on. Looks broken. Well, shit. Oh, hi. Oh, who is it? It's okay. I'm with Spark. Oh, then please help me. There is some sort of, of monster in the dark ahead. Oh, it, it, it's nothing like the others. It got several of the guys, and I'm I'm way too scared to go out. Don't worry. I'll take care of it. Oh, I hope you can. Oh, yeah, by the way, it seems to not like bright lights. You should turn on the lights for the corridor. That's the panel over there. Thanks. Survivors are gathering on the flight deck. You should go there. Okay, okay. I will wait for my chance, and then I'll leave. Oh, oh yeah. Here, take this. It's the map data for this area. Thanks. Be careful. Yeah, yeah, you too. I see everyone's face is still trying to push out of their skull. Some things never change, I guess. Electrical supply board. The power to hold two has been disconnected, okay? Concerning the switchboard inspection. After a malfunction in a switchboard in the Deck 4 substation, the switchboard has been temporarily deactivated for inspection. During the inspection, if there is a need for emergency switchboard use, contact the Deck 5 substation. There is no fuse. Okay. So apparently I need to go to Deck, either go to Deck 5 or find a fuse. I have no idea which one it might be, though. I do have more stuff to check in the other hallway, though. Maybe I should rewind and take a look. Okay, this is the elevator room, but from a different angle. I recognize where I am. Yeah, you know what? Let's go back and let's clear this methodically. Let's go back and check the uh, previous hallway doors before we open up a new area. Yay, machine gun bullets. Too bad I almost never used the machine gun. Because it has a ridiculously high setup time. Ooh, magazine. Any hardware? Give me hardware. I need hardware. Nothing useful. How about this one? Nope. This one? Nope. Pistol mag. Now that I will use. Yay. Give me more stuff. Give me stuff. Damn it, game, satisfy my OCD. Okay, I will take T9 bombs. 
I will take the double power bombs. Oh yeah, I already got the magazines out of that. Safety save. Then we have one more door to check. What is here? Welcome back, Ultra Nerd. Duffa? Nope. Okay, could that be the... Could that be the thing we were just told didn't like light that we need to do something about? Because that had the look of a thing I was I am not going to be able to hurt right away. Well, I suppose I could try bombs on them. Let's let's try a bomb. Let's see if they like. Let's see if they like or don't like bomb. Slop slop. Hey, you like bomb? I have bomb. Here, have bomb. Hey, no care about bomb. We leave now. wonder if those are the guys you got to turn the lights on to deal with. Now where are we? We are... <laughs> oh, dude, we have a dude. We have dude. He is not infected, dude. Who are you? I'm with the team sent by NTA. Really? So we can get out of here? It's impossible as long as the intercept system is active, but I'll take care of it. You go up to the flight deck and wait for rescue. Yes, sir. If you are going to shut down the intercept system, that means you are going to continue down? Yeah. The door ahead has a special infrared beam locking system. You can't see them with the naked eye, but you should be able to with that scope. Thanks for the info. Go quickly. Hey, I'm Mr. Go. Nobody. I'm relying on you. Welcome, welcome. How you doing? Hope you're having a great one. Special infrared beam scope, he says. Everything is, it's all right, Mr. Nobody. Kind of a slow day so far. Hopefully it'll pick up in a bit. You just got home from school not too long ago and now you're on Apex. How your match is going?
God, I don't know why, but I am sleepy. Like, I should not be as sleepy as I... Oh, hi. Stay back. Who the hell are you? I'm with the team sent by NTA. Yeah? Well, you can't fool me. I know who you are, mutant. <laughs> really? So what, you just plug me with one round and what, we're going to talk now? Wow. Dude just took a shot at me and I'm just walking around like, eh, okay. Yeah, he has a right to be a little trigger happy. Alternate films. Oops, gave this dude the wrong hands. <laughs> What hands did you give him, Ultranerd? I assume you're working on a D&D &D thing. Engine Room Incident Report. Engine Room Chief Bill Monroe. On April 4th, there was an explosion in the engine room. The results of an investigation of the area revealed chemicals used to make explosives and something that looks like the remains of a detonator. Therefore, we have come to the conclusion that the explosion was the result of a planted bomb. It is very possible that this was a terrorist attack. I would like to have a member of the special forces and a terrorist specialist included in the investigation team. Which I'm assuming is me. There doesn't seem to be any important information here. There does not seem to be anything important here besides the lunatic with a pistol. <laughs> Die! <laughs> Is that actually hurting me? No, I'm not even. T I'm not even taking damage every time he shoots me. <laughs> Yeah, I figured out why the water is coming in. According to the ship's log, Captain McGregor ordered the crew to sink the ship. What? Why would he do that? He was afraid that the ship would reach land with Ark on board. Hmm. Seems pretty extreme. This Ark must be more than just some ancient organism. What's up, Sultry Saltine? Mr. Nuki Cole, what's cracking and or lacking? <laughs> what's uh, lacking at the moment is my awakeness. Yes, sir. You too. Be careful. By the way, Lieutenant Manning was here a little while ago. Really? I spoke to her on the radio. She was headed to the upper decks. Maybe you'll run into her. If I see her, I'll get her to join me. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm not feeling, I'm not really feeling a hundred percent. And given that things are about two steps from dead at the moment, um, I might call a break in a little bit, take myself a nap and come back later. I don't know, I'm, I may not keep Wednesdays as a stream day. This is not the first time Wednesday has been basically a totally dead day, so I may remove Wednesday from the rotation, put on Monday instead. Oh great, now the mushrooms are farting on me, just what I needed. Nap and play simultaneously. I'm too old for that now, Saltine. Too old to play in my sleep. Ooh, machine guns. Yay, more bullets for the gun I barely use. How about you? 
More bullets for the gun I barely use. I'm gonna guess that what killed Drax was the steroid salting. Or maybe given how uh, drained those corpses look, maybe he started taking venom. That shit is real bad for you. Oh, I get so tired of the auto grab. Oh, come on, no. You're not funny, game. You know what? Let's actually see if I can make anything happen with the SMG. Because I wasn't impressed with it as a boss weapon. Okay, one down. Where's the other one? There he is. Okay, that worked all right. Drax on Venom while simultaneously having the Venom symbiote. That might be too much Venom. In fact, I'm sure it would be too much Venom. It would be the kind of venom that would cause lawsuits for too much venom. Okay. I need... Okay, I need access to a crane that I can't access at the moment. Well, just be careful with that. There may be such a thing as too much Tom Hardy, you know. It may, in fact, be possible to have too much Tom Hardy in a single movie. Okay, so it appears I can run through the fart clouds without taking any damage. What about a hard Tommy? That I don't know about. <laughs> I know nothing about a hard Tommy. Tarmy is in tarmac because hot tarmac sucks. That it does. That it does. Hey, Saltine. You ever been on tarmac that got so hot it actually partially melted and got sticky? Ooh. Um, what? Oh! This is the... This is the laser lock puzzle the guy was talking about. Okay. Alright, so where do we... Oh, cripes. Seriously? I was about to say, it's gonna fucking change over and over again? Because that would just be dicks. All right, uh, next one is right here. 
Third one is right in the center. And that closes the door behind me. How nice. But this opens the whole shebang. Awesome. That should mean we now have access to the elevators. Good. Okay. Progress being made here. Why is my mouse cursor still on there? Two level three energy drinks. I'll take those. What are we here? Ooh, handgun? A broken pistol. Well, shit, I was hoping it was an upgrade. And a critter who'd really like to eat me. But I think he's going to get tasered instead. Aw, oh, come on, you can jump higher than that. All right, the bombs are up here. See how tired I am, guys? I'm forgetting where my bombs are. How do you get so tired that you forget where bombs are? Come on, jump like you're a basketball playing thing, animated carrot, whatever you are. That works. Yeah, These guys are wearing different uniforms. Green instead of blue. Everyone else has been wearing navy blues. But these guys are in green. I wonder if this is significant. They're also carrying hardware. Guessing this is part of the ship's marine complement, as opposed to the sailors I've been encountering. Okay. Who are you? Stay away from me. Stop. I'm with Spark. Spark, you're here to rescue us. Pretty much. Yeah, what's going on here? Do you have any idea? No, I, I don't really know. Sorry. All of a sudden, the ship was full of mutants. The rate of growth is incredible. If the ship makes it to land. Yeah, you're right. We have to do something. Please do something. You are our last hope. Leave it to me. By the way, can you get to the lower decks through that hole? Yes, if you have a winch. I see. You head to the flight deck and join the other survivors. Here, take this. It should come in handy. Thanks. Be careful. Yay, boomity devices. <laughs> By the way, that could be our new candidate for some of the worst dialogue in the game. The rate of growth is incredible. Suddenly the ship was full of mutants. Meanwhile, documentation we picked up earlier says they uh, took about two days, I think, after the explosion for things to really get out of control. They knew about the mutants well before then. Uh, could you could you show me the evil carrot? I need. I'd like to shoot the evil carrot, please. No? Okay, fine. I'll just dodge the evil carrot. Dodging the evil carrot also works. Yeah. 
Nuclear Ninja is back from the yard work for today. So if you give this faceless horror a set of Cheshire-sized murder teeth, it might draw attention away from the backwards hand. Maybe. Might. Okay. 